Everybody, welcome back to another video on the channel. And in today's video, we are doing um, another build this episode. Um, and this month, um, I uh, basically um, focused on getting um, a 30 series card in each build. So basically, the first build here is uh, with the 3070, then the 3080, and then the 3090. Um, so yeah. Let's just get right into it. Um, so for a CPU here, um, I went with a Ryzen 5 3600X. Now, um, I do go with the 3600X over the standard 3600, um, because it does, the 3600X comes with a little bit of a better stock cooler, which we are going to use, um, and it's clocked uh, about 2 megahertz, I mean gigahertz, sorry. Um, higher out of the box and it was only like ten dollars more so that's why we went with that over the 3600 um and then this board here um this is the board that i have um i went with this board um because i wanted to go, i was gonna go with the uh b43 tomahawk but um this board was um like uh a few bucks cheaper so i just went with this board um uh, so we do got a nice 8 pin there, um, 24 pin, um, lots of SATA ports, um, and then I know it shows that this lights up, but, um, you gotta buy, like, something to make it light up, it actually doesn't do that out of the box, which is kind of lame, but, um, we got a great IO, IO, we got an HDMI there, um, we got Ethernet, uh, a PS2 port, um, some USB ports, got Type-C, um, audio um, uh, and then you do get four SATA cables, two M.2, some zip ties, and an LED extension. So that's that board. Um, and then here we got the G-Scale Ripjaws uh, 5. Sorry about that. Um, 16 gigs, 2x8 of course, um, 3600 and cast latency 18. Now I wasn't super happy about the cast latency here. I would have liked to um, get uh, 16, but um, this kit was um, cheaper. So uh, this kit was um, quite a, I don't know, it was like 10, 15 bucks cheaper. So I just went with this. Um, for the build here, um, if you really want to spend the extra, um, if you, if you want to spend like the extra 10, 15 bucks, you can upgrade to the, um, uh, cast latency 18, I mean 16 kit, but, um, it's not required. Um, so, yeah. Um, then here for drive here, we just have a Q500, uh, 240 gigabyte SSD here. Um, now, you can always upgrade to the 480 gigabyte uh, model for, but um, this one was quite a bit more, so I didn't go with it. Um, but, you know, uh, 240 gigs uh, for your operating system. Um, so, you are going to um, eventually going to want to um, get a hard drive or a larger SSD. Um, now for the case here I chose the Cougar MX3 330. Um, and I chose this case um, because it um, looks like it's got a lot of airflow in the front um, which we're going to want. Um, we want cool air kind of coming in um, through the case so that was um, important um, IO. Um, no, two USB 2, you know, mic, headphone, reset, power button. Um, now it does only come with one fan, which is kind of unfortunate, but um, you can always add another one for like 10, 15 bucks. Um, yeah, I thought for $40 it was a good deal. Uh, and then here we have our Antec Neo Classic 650 watt E plus bond certified power supply. Now, um, now I know it kind of has other cables, but, um, 
the thing was, I was kind of like, all right, what's kind of the cheapest, decent 650 watt power supply that we can get? Um, and then this just happened to be um, it at 50 bucks. Um, because um, now we could have gone. Now our system doesn't draw um, uh, that many watts, but um, Nvidia does recommend a um, uh, 650 watt power supply, so I did want to go with that. Um, and then we just have our 3070. I don't know. They start at five hundred dollars. You can really get whatever thirty seventy you like. I don't know. For today, I just put in the Founders Edition, um, which obviously you can't get like any thirty seventy right now. But um, yeah, just go with whatever one you want. Um, so yeah. Um, so that's that. Um, so let's take a look at our next build. All right. So now we are on our thirty uh eighty build here. So. Um, now, this is just, I don't know, you don't need to upgrade to the 3700X, um, but now it is clocked, it's not clocked as high, but, um, you can't overclock this, um, because it does have a better stock cooler than, um, the, uh, 3600X. Um, now, I am, you can get it for about 319, 330 right now, um, but, I don't know, um, this was updated like seven minutes ago, so, um, pretty, but, now it's out of stock, unfortunately, but, you know, you can overclock it, eight cores, 16 threads, um, so yeah, um, then, we got the same motherboard here, I didn't really feel the need to upgrade it, um, and you can, just since this is more kind of budget-oriented board, um, Alright guys, so as I was saying, um, it's the same board from the last build, so obviously the same um, features apply as the last build. Um, so same memory as well, didn't really feel the need to upgrade it. Now, there is one thing that you could do. Now, what you could do here is um, you could spend a little less on the case. Um, I really like this case. Um, this is the P500A uh, from Pantax. Um, I really like the case personally, but um, you could spend uh, a little less on the case um, and then, I don't know, get that to seal uh, 16 if you really wanted to. Um, so, same as SSDs last time. Um, and then we got a 2 terabyte uh, CD Barracuda here. Um, now you could go with 1 terabyte. Um, the one terabyte's actually uh, not that much less, so um, it's not that much cheaper. So I just went with the uh, two terabyte. Um, here is our finder station card. Obviously, um, I don't know. As I said before, go with whatever one you want. I don't know. Uh, I just picked this one because this is the cheapest kind of base level uh, card that you can get. And keep in mind, um, this card does have the crappy. Uh, um, that's the only thing that sucks about this card is the 12 pin connector, but, you know, uh, I already talked about kind of our case. Um, so for our power supply here, uh, we have the Thermaltake Smart Pro RGB, which I guess, actually, you are going to see the RGB in this case, because there's a cutout in the power supply shroud, so that's nice. So what I do recommend is, I recommend just removing the sticker. This one is uh, 80 plus bronze again. Um, yeah, uh, modular uh, RGB uh, for under three bucks. Um, because the 3080 and the 3090 uh, do um, recommend a um, 750 watt power supply. So. Yeah, that's this build, so let's get into our very last build. Alright guys, so um, I upgraded our CPU again to start off. This is the 3900X, uh, 3.8 gigahertz, 12-core um, processor, uh, 430, uh, I boost up to, I'm sorry, I boost up to uh, 4.6, so great. 
lovely. Um, and then it does come with cooler, which you can use. Um, that's just the cooler that I'm using in other parts of this, but you can um, use whatever you like, honestly. Um, so, same board. Um, you could upgrade to an X570 board, but, or a B550 board, um, but I just kept it with B450 just because um, we're not using any of the main features of um, X570 or B550. Now, um, just a heads up on um, these cards are uh, PCIe 4.0 supported, but you don't need it. It's not like necessary. You don't have to buy it. So, yeah, that's that. Um, same memory kit, uh, upgraded if you'd like. Same storage. Um, you can also upgrade this and um, get a NVMe drive um, if you really would like, but you don't need um, and then I just stuck in the 390 here. So here we go, 1500 bucks, uh, 24 gigs of GDR, ah, GDDR6 X memory. Alright, um, and then I typed all the same here. And then I just started some thirty dollar cable extensions. Honestly, um, you know, just go with it. Um, honestly, you don't need cable extensions. I don't know. I just threw them in. Um, and yeah. So yeah, guys. Um, I am going to thank you for watching today's video. <clears throat> and have a great and fantastic rest of your day. Got it.